हाई स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट पम्प इन पैरल अरेजमेंट एंड पम्प इन सीरीज अरेजमेंट सो स्टूडेंट वी विल फर्स्ट इन सी दम्प इन सीरीज अरेजमेंट फॉर दैट सी हि पम्प इन सीरीज अरेजमेंट इन दिस केस पम्प दिस इज सपोज दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट पम्प एंड हियर दिस इज अवर सेकेंड पम्प एंड बोथ द पम्प are arranged in series as you can see here this is our p1 this is our p2 okay and these pumps are arranged in series that is flow will come to this inlet of this pump and outlet of this pump is directly connected to the inlet of the second pump and from after that we will get the output of the of from the second pump so here this is the inlet of the first pump this is the outlet of the first pump and this output from the first pump will directly get at the inlet of the second pump as you can see and from after that from the second pump we will get the output here as you can see here so this is the flow of the fluid in series okay in this case see due to this pumps in series arrangement we will get the q constant that is q that is a flow rate total flow rate is equal to flow rate of pump 1 that is q1 is which is equal to flow rate of the pump 2 that is q2 and because of this pumps in series arrangement we will get the higher head that is here see h total in this case due to this arrangement h total that is head of the pump we will get h total is equal to h1 plus h2 okay in this case in this case pumps in series and in the graph you can see see here suppose this is our graph okay and here this is our head at the y axis and at the x axis we have here flow rate that is our q okay and suppose this is one this is the flow rate range we will get 1 meter cube per hour 2 meter cube per hour 3 meter cube per hour suppose we have taken this is our head here okay and suppose this is our here head this is 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 meter head okay and see here in this pumps in series arrangement this connection we will use to increase the head of our pumps okay so when we um, connect the two pumps in series as you can see here we suppose this is the suppose at this this is our uh, this is our curve of these both pumps both pumps have similar uh, characteristics and similar properties okay now this is the pump curve of this p1 and p2 p1 and p2 okay this is for single pump single pump pump okay and because of this series arrangement we will get the h total which is equal to h1 plus h2 the head of both the pumps that's why we will when we arrange these both pumps in series we will get here the uh p Here, to h total that is head will be double will be double so we will get head here and our pump curve for two pumps will be like this and this is for pump two pumps okay two pumps arranged in series as you can see here this is our pump curve for these two pumps this is our single pump curve and as you can see here both have both the connection both single pump and two pumps in series have same uh, flow rate as you can see here 
ओके दिस इज द केस ऑफ पम्प्स इन सीरीज नाउ वी विल सी द पम्प्स इन पैरल अरेंजमेंट सो फॉर दैट हियर वी हैव वन पम्प हियर एंड अनदर पम्प वी हैव हियर एज यू कैन सी एंड suppose we have both the pumps these pumps are we are now connecting in parallel arrangement okay this is our p1 this is our p2 okay and this fluid is flowing from this direction to the this direction and both the pumps have separate inlets as you can see here this is the inlet of p1 this is the inlet of the p2 and this is the inlet of p sorry this is the outlet of the p1 and this is the outlet of the p2 pump and both the uh, outputs we will get here at this point combined output and in this pumps in parallel arrangement we get here head is constant in this case that is h h total is equal to h1 and which is equal to h2 in this parallel 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 arrangement of pumps so we have here constant head as you can see here and because of this parallel arrangement of pumps so we will get here q total which is equal to q1 plus q2 okay that is flow rate we will get here that is q total is is actually q1 q1 and q2 sum of these two q1 plus q2 okay so this parallel arrangement of pumps we use to increase the flow rate of uh, we, which we are getting at the output of the pumps to increase the flow rate we will use this type of arrangement parallel flow arrangement of pumps and in the graph you see now this is our head h this is our q and here now see 1 2 3 4 suppose 1 meter cube 2 3 4 okay meter cube per hour okay it is meter cube per hour okay suppose and here this is our head again so 10 20 30 40 50 meter head okay in meters here it is meter cube per hour okay here it is also in meter okay so now in this case see we have here h is constant for both the pumps so here suppose we have here 30 meter head and for single pump you are getting here suppose 2 meter cube per hour is our flow rate and we in this is for single pump okay single pump pump and now see because and for two pumps our head will remain constant and we will get here flow rate more than more okay so this curve is for two pumps pumps as you can see here as we have seen q total is equal to q1 plus q2 that is in this case as you can see here for single pump we are getting here uh, flow less flow rate that is in this case so we have assumed 2 meter cube per hour and in the sec in the when we up, uh, use the two pumps in parallel we are getting here uh, or nearly in this case nearly double the flow rate that is 4 meter cube per hour so here see in summary we are now summarizing the our both the concepts so for that see here in pumps in series as you can see here we arrange the pumps in series arrangement as you can see here because of that we are we will get here constant flow rate that is q total is equal to q1 is equal to q2 and the head total head we are getting which will be equal to h1 plus h2 that h2 that is head of pump 1 and head of pump 2 but sum of both the pump, head of both the pumps 
we we are getting here which is equal to h2 okay h total h total we are getting here in this case which is equal to h1 plus h2 and in pumps in parallel arrangement we are arranging the pumps in parallel as you can see here in this case head is constant as you can see h total is equal to h1 is equal to h2 and we are getting here increased flow rate in this case which is now in this case q total is equal to q1 plus q2 okay students so in this video we have understood about parallel and series arrangement of pumps thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you